how to create Notion account. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this super quick and easy step-by-step -step tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys everything uh, from start to finish. It's quite easy and I also have left a link in the description already pinned comment under this YouTube video. So you can immediately just go to the website and here we can create our account. So here we can see um, at the top right corner, request a demo, login or get Notion free. Now we need to click on get Notion free over here. And here we have a couple of options in order to um, create our account. So here we can continue with Google, Apple or single sign in. And we can also just fill in our regular email address. If you, for example, have not an email address from Google. So I'm going to simply fill in my email address and then simply click on continue. And now we will get a verification code. Here is the code. Now we can use it. We can copy and paste this code over here, or we can sign in with the magic link. I'm simply just going to copy the whole code over here and then paste it in there. Click on continue. So now we have um, logged in pretty much and we need to create a profile. So here we can see uh, a preferred name as well as, as a password. At the top, we can also add a profile picture. So let's just do that real quick. So now I'm going to fill in the name and a password. Then here you can click on continue or what you can also do is enable this option over here. No, I do not want to receive marketing communications from Notion. This is up to you and you can unsubscribe any uh, time. But I just do not like this and I'll just click on continue. So it's just up to you. Now here comes the uh, main part. So here we need to set up or choose where we want to use Notion for. So we can either use this for uh, my team personal use or for school. So for a team collaborate on your docs, projects and wikis. Uh, personal use is write better, think more clearly, stay organized. And for school is keep notes, research and tasks in one place. So you can um, choose which one you want to use this for. I personally want to use this for personal use. So I'm going to continue with that. Then here it says uh, what is on your mind. Now uh, you can um, here select what you kind of like use this for. So let's say you want to do uh, use it for uh, to-do lists, project tracking, um, and for example, personal finance. That would be great, at least for me. And then you can select that and click on continue. You can also skip this for now, but uh, I do like to do this because this will automatically let Notion know where you mainly want to use this for. They'll optimize it better for you. So I'm going to click on continue. And it says getting ready. And we'll just have to wait for this to load. And once this loads up, uh, this is pretty much what it will look like. So here we have the getting started. So you have a bunch of um, steps which you can follow. So it will explain to you everything. But pretty much... This is kind of it. So you're here, you have the uh, home page, as you can see. So we can create a new page. Uh, here we have the project planner, the monthly budget, and then the a weekly to do list. So these are the ones that I chose. Um, for you, it might be travel or whatever, which you chose, or it might look completely different, by the way, if you chose, uh, for example, that you want to, as a student or as a project or team. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That is how to create Notion account.